Alright, so this is one of the aircraft that you requested that I reviewed. This is the Merlin PSA. As you see right here, it says two weeks. Only two weeks to build. Now, this is unique in the sense that it's a one-seater. So it's a solo pilot airplane and it's very, very affordable. Uh, built out completely, you're looking at about fifty or sixty thousand. Actually, it says finish your Merlin for under forty-two thousand. I don't know all the options it's gonna come with, but we'll ask a few questions here. But just on the outside, it looks <laughs> it looks like a very neat uh, neat airplane. See, we can and if you, even if you look in the panel, <laughs> very simple, very basic uh, here. I don't know if we can open the door. Let's see. Alright, this is how you get in the aircraft. Oh, that's cool. Nope. Very basic. What? Is that a Dynan, that tiny... Uh, that's an MGL. Oh, that's MGL. Yeah. Is that, I guess, this is experimental. Yeah. So we put whatever we want in. Right. And it's supposed to start critical. Do you mind being on camera if I ask a few questions about the airplane? Okay, awesome. Cool. In fact, that's my airplane. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Let's, let's go to yours. <laughs> so, here is actually... A Merlin that's currently being built out. Uh, as you can see, quite naked. And I'm going to talk to the owner in a little bit. Uh, tell us about your engine. Well, this is a Japanese engine uh, from a company called HKS out of Japan. It's uh, 600 cc, 60 horsepower, normally aspirated, two cylinder, uh, four cycle. Okay. And I'm just. Because I, I know the, the the models that I've seen online, and it's fitted with the Rotax. Uh, yeah, the most of them have uh, Rotax 582, which right. is a two-cycle engine. Okay. And then uh, the, this engine uh, became available available in this uh, airframe as well. So this is a better engine, actually. Yeah, I was just going to ask expensive. you why, why why'd you go with this instead well, of the Rotax. Well, uh, better reliability, better fuel economy. Really? Yeah, it's much yeah. smoother. Okay. Uh, th these running sound very nice. Okay. Yeah, they, they really do. That's, and uh, they're not very loud. Rotax is pretty loud. You know, it sounds like I mean, a chainsaw. It has, it has a whiny sound. <laughs> it's a chainsaw. <laughs> I know. And, uh, okay. So, so can you give an idea of the numbers in terms of performance? And you said it does have a better fuel economy than. than yeah, the I think the fuel the fuel flow is probably about two and a half uh, gallons an hour. Oh wow! Doing about 100 120 knots. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> and it's single seat because I, uh, right. I enjoy the the company being right. loud. <laughs> That was gonna be my next question. Like, why did you? Because I feel like this airplane is for the airplane for the most a unique set of pilots. Well, I, I'm a retired Air Force fighter pilot. I flew A10s, oh, so you know, single seat was my forte. Okay. I like being, I like flying alone. Okay, awesome. Uh, this, no kidding, is a quick build kit. Uh, they go together in, in two weeks or less. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm slow leaking it. I'm doing that. I'm because I want, I like the customization idea. Okay. But it's all CAD CAM. It's uh, produced in Czech Republic, okay. it, uh, it adheres to the 51% rule, which means I have to build 51% of it. So as delivered, it comes on the land, it's on the main landing gear. Uh, so it comes delivered like the body kit comes delivered with Yeah, and, and in fact, this is pretty much as it's delivered. The windows aren't in, but it's pretty thick and heavy. But this is, to be specific, this is the quick build. This is the quick build. This is the quick build, which they sort of put the fuselage in. Yeah, so, so all these rivets, these rivets are in. These blue rivets are temporary rivets, so what okay. I do is I open up, do whatever you know, modifications I'm going to do. In particular. Okay. I have to do inspections. Okay. Okay. And then you rivet it back together. But these are temporary rivets that they are put in by the, at the factory. Okay. The other nice thing about this airplane is, even though it has contours, all of this metal is is flat metal. So if I were to pop the rivets out, it would lay flat. Oh wow. There's no bends in the metal. That's so it's cool. one of the other reasons why they can you know produce this produce these so so uh, readily. That's cool. Um, but the other thing I liked about this is because it, it, it's almost a production kit. In fact you can buy this airplane in England, uh fully As a production. Yeah. Yeah. The they, US... they have slightly different rules than we do. Right, right. I, I was just talking about that with certification and stuff. Yeah. It's it's a little different here. So let me ask you, when do you plan on, on finishing this? I think probably in September. But I'm the other the other thing that's taking me longer is 
Uh, I'm doing things you know, very fastidiously. Okay. Uh, I'm also a ham radio operator. I'm putting in extra radio gear oh, wow. and just doing a lot of weird things. Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small panel there, so. Oh, you it's can actually get... a very nice panel. It, oh, yeah. It's, it's kind of hard. It, it, it looks deceptive to get into, but once you right. get into it, it's actually quite roomy. So there's a lot more room in here. And the other thing is, if you notice, the, the windows, the side windows actually quite yeah, large. Yeah, large, yeah. So you get, there's a lot of room and then there's a lot of headroom. Do you plan on uh, putting a, a parachute on this? Yeah, I have the BRS. Uh, I didn't bring it with me. Okay. But the BRS, uh, it actually pops through. This, this window is acrylic. All the others are plexiglass, so I, I made this acrylic window. And the BRS, the rock will just shoot through here. In fact, these are the two hard points on the uh, on the wing where the BRS attaches. Oh, okay. So that was about another six thousand bucks. Okay. So that's why it's up to forty-two. Awesome. And when I get all done with the Avion, I'm going to have probably about eight nine thousand dollars of Avion, so because I want to make it full IFR. Oh, and I'm also, I'm also putting oxygen in it. See, I told you I was anal retentive, but oh I'm just God. Okay. very <laughs> <dangerous. laughs> I'm, Yeah, so I'm, yeah, and that's why, you know, I've got a buddy who, who, who paints very high-end hot rods. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a world-class uh, painter, uh, so he's going to paint the whole thing. So he did the spinner. So I told him what color I wanted it. It and looks so, good. And so he did the spinner for me, just kind of as a test. Said, hey, let's, let's try the spinner first. And uh, he's all excited to, to do this. I heard you say, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Behave. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you.